uh, welcome to the right direction. Uh, it's Lace, my man, and I want to celebrate today, but I really need to check. Um, we've had a new member in the Nigerian community, uh, the Duchess of, I think the Duchess of York, I'm sure I'm correct. Duchess of Sussex. Of Sussex, that's the one. She has done her ancestry DNA and she's 43% uh, Nigerian. I want to clap. Uh, I don't know if the lady's going to allow me. <laughs> clap. Welcome, Megan. Um, I want to go straight into it. Is there any part of Megan, this 43%, that may have preempted you that she's Nigerian before now? Has any of her actions displayed besides the main thing to say, ah, this is a black, this is a Nigerian action? Uh, so, so let me start with you. Oh, Are with you me? proud? Proud? 43%. Nigerian new entry. Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. <laughs> I don't know if I have to be proud. If that's if that, if, uh, No, I don't need to be proud. I Rather, it. I feel like <laughs> she's going to add to the negative list that we already have in Nigeria. For example, she's a Duchess of... What, what is it called? Duchess Sussex. of Sussex. Sussex. Sussex, yeah. 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 And uh, she... she She's been branded different names, and then she's going to add to the list of we are we are we are, we are known to be uh, uh, terrorists, four one nine, whatever. And now she's come <laughs> to join the list of that. Uh, you know, Brazilian Megan, that they call her. She she comes in with a with a diva <laughs> attitude and all the rest. No, I don't. I'm not proud. You're but, not proud. But rather, I'm more, I'm more curious as to why she chose to be a Nigerian. That's why she's revealing it this time. Yes. I want to ask, uh, Rosetta, let me come to you. When you heard the news, how did you feel? You know, like Megan, she, she did it herself. She checked. <laughs> it's like a sister. Would you have felt if she said it before, uh, a long time ago, before she became, before the problem started? Um, no, it wouldn't have mattered to me, to mm. be honest. You know, I, I like her for who she is, but she hasn't added value to Nigeria as a country. You know, I, I'm actually I'm more interested in what this DNA thing that they said they did that she's forty three percent. I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't trust it unless I am convinced. <laughs> I want to know how they came about the forty three because Mega, do you know what? We Nigerians, you know, we're we're fantastic people. Mm -hmm. We're very likable mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So I can see Megan actually saying, you know what? I, you know, I'm going to choose from the planet, yeah? Uh, yeah. Which tribe I want to belong to. Mm -hmm. And she chose Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I, 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 yes. You know, there's a, there's, a, yeah. there's a train of thought in that. Yeah. I agree. Uh, um, yeah. Josephine, let me see. Josephine is already laughing. Let me see if anybody was celebrating. Yeah. Did you buy Coke? Did you do anything when Did you, you heard celebrate, that? Josephine? Did you celebrate this new edge? <laughs> no, I didn't celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> I was really shocked. I was like, you know, why Nigerian, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. because we understand that, you know, in the good side of Nigerians, we are up there. Yes. So probably that's what she wanted to tap into by saying out of all uh, states or country, she chose Nigeria. Nigeria. And how far is that true that she is actually, mm -hmm. is it 40, what percent? 43%. 43%. I don't understand, you, you know. You want to see the proof? You yes, <laughs> definitely. Okay. I want to get to her, I want to get to her actions. I. I, as a man, I was, I, I, you know, we take good things like Nigerian created this, Nigerian created this and stuff. I would, I would be a bit hesitant. Maybe you're interpreting it from my actions in the royal household. Mm. You know, is it a Niger is it on Nigeria for a woman to come in and, and, and scatter the place, if I use that word, mm -mm. put her foot down, mm. you know, or is it because you like the royal family? So you are not welcoming the Megan saying she's Nigerian. Which one is it? Is it her actions or your love for the royal family? Oh, you, you mean Let me? Let me direct it. To I you. think my her actions tells me she's not a Nigerian. For example, if a Nigerian girl were lucky enough or whatever, marry into the royal family, I think she would know what to do. I think she would have respected her in-laws because that's the way we were cultured. We have aunties, uncle, we have extended family. She would have respected her extended family. And before you know, a Nigerian woman would have earned the, the queen's love and respect 
that she will start cooking jollof rice within the royal families. Yeah. And I believe the queen would have been eating jollof rice before she passed away. And that would have been better for that would have, that Then I would have known she's a Nigerian yeah. woman. In all of the things that she has done, nothing. The only thing that I could say probably linked her to a Nigeria is that she looked pretty like Nigerian women. Oh, that's, this is right. <laughs> that's all. She looked pretty yeah, like a Nigerian she's, woman. She's, she's, she's and she has a sense of fashion like mm, a Nigerian woman. Sure. Other than that, in terms of mannerism, she's completely zero. Ah, the, uh, uh, just, I, want to try, I want to throw this to you before I go to Rosetta. Are you, are you, do you don't approve of her uh, actions, even when she's trying to explain that that is tough here? You think a Nigerian woman would have handled it differently? Oh, yes. Yes, they will handle it differently. I mean, we're talking about royal family. It's big. Yeah. You know, it's culture. She needed to actually back down and just kind of like, you know, flow with whatever. Because all those things she put out there, they were all negatives about the royal family. I mean, you coming out there to just damage the royal family like that, and then you think, you know, everything is fine. And then all of a sudden you're saying you're Nigerian. No, you're not Nigerian. Because mm -hmm. we have wives who are married to um, um, princes in, in Nigeria, and they don't act this way. Like... No. Um, um, yes, uh, Mr. Duguay right, rightfully said, they, they respect. We are very cultured, we mm -hmm. respect, we are mannered, mm -hmm. we respect our husbands mm -hmm. and everything. Even if the husband has yeah. said, oh, I'm taking you out, I don't want to have royal duties anymore and everything. As a woman, she is meant to be telling Harry to say no. No, because they're all going to think it's me. Yeah. Please, let's, we can let's, work it out. We can do this, we can do that. Absolutely. But she didn't. Instead, she ran over there. <laughs> and now she's saying she's what? Nigerian? No, you're no, not. No, she's not. <laughs> no, she's not. Thank you. Uh, uh, Rosetta, I'm going to come over to you. Are, yes. are you. are you judging her based on her conduct, just on the royal household, to say this is not what a Nigerian woman would do, you know, as opposed to the fact that, you know, she's a... She's a nice Nigerian woman. Are you doubt? Um, number one, I still doubt whether she's Nigerian. I think she just chose to be Nigerian. Yeah. Yes. Um, however, you see, uh, we are very cultured people. Mm. I think Megan knew what she was going into. And I think Harry would have told her, when you're coming into this family, this is the expectations. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, but she thought she would go in and she would change the narrative. You cannot just go and change the narrative anyway. Even if our forefathers, even in Africa, you know, to change something that's been there mm. for years, mm. for decades, mm -hmm. it's going to be difficult. You'll be an mm. outcast, mm. you know, because mm. the question will be, who are you? Mm. Yeah. So I think she went into the royal family thinking she's going to change mm. the narrative, and um, it just didn't work. No. And she did not want to work with the people in the palace. She was mm. fighting with Catherine. Mm -hmm. Nothing was good enough for her. For her, yes, you are in America. We're British people. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the monarchy. If mm -hmm. you're coming into the sure. monarchy, that's big. Yes. Yeah. It's that's the number one family. Number, one. number you, one family. Yes. You should be proud. They even accepted yes. you to come yes. into the as a divorcee. Yes, because, as, <laughs> number one, as a, number one, as a divorcee. Yes, but secondly, I was happy because I think the royal family must have thought about Harry and how their mom died. Mm. Mm. Let's mm. welcome somebody that's going to make our grandson happy, happy. at yes. least. I think that's what the royal family mm. did. Yes. That's exactly what they yes, did. Yes, they thought about mm. Harry's needs. And the fact that he's found mm. someone that he really, really loves, mm. and she's mixed, because there's no mixed blood. No, wait, well, they say there's no mixed blood, but yeah. in the news, I've had there's some mixed. Oh, somewhere. there has been. Me yeah. Megan is not the first. Yeah. No, Megan is not the first. Megan no, is not the she's first. She's not the first. Yes, but yeah. um, it was a good thing that she was welcomed into the royal family, mm. but it didn't work out. Mm. And the reason it didn't, there's so many negatives as to why it didn't work out. Mm. Apart from the fact, the only one that I wasn't happy about was when she was feeling low and they wouldn't let her see mm. a counselor or a psychiatrist. That did worry me. And that's mm. where Harry actually said, I don't want history to repeat itself. You mm. know, And that sort of conjured memories about his mom. mom. Mm. And I thought they should have actually allowed her to be, okay. because all of them have to be tough. Even in the midst of difficulties, you have to show that it's the royal family. It's the royal family, yes. <laughs> yeah. royal family. Now let me say, I, we've got that off our chest. Now we have no choice. It's like a, it's like a kid. It's your child, whether or not mm. Mm. they are yeah. this way. Let's give Megan an official welcome into the Nigerian community. Mm -hmm. Since we cannot change the results of the DNA, she's going to join us. What would you like to say to her? To say now you're going to act like you, since you have declared yourself to be a Nigerian woman. 
Uh, what is your expectation of Meghan? Now she has come out of Nigeria. Um, actually, I don't know because she's not with the royal family and, and she's in America living her life with, with Harry now. Yes. You know, yes. they've actually taken their title off them. So we have nothing. Mm. We have... They still got their title. <laughs> <laughs> they got the, um, the Duchess of, of Sussex. Yeah. Duchess we don't of Sussex. like that. We yes. like them with the title. I, I, do you know what? Place, a lot of damage has been done. done. Yes. You know, if you asked me that question when she was in within, the palace, yes. still within, the within palace. that she could save mm. the relationship with everybody in mm -hmm. the palace, mm -hmm. I would have known what to, to say. say. But mm. to be quite honest, whatever I say now is not going to make any impact any because difference at all. they're in America, they're living their lives. Yeah. And, and, and that's it. And I think it's a pity that the only brother that he has on this earth the next the, king that yeah. relationship is kind of dead. Dead. yes mm. so yeah. so you you feel the same way you don't think you want to give her any kind of welcome because we have no choice she's not a nigerian or you think what we could have gained is when she was in the palace what could have been good for us uh, yeah upset. what we could have gained could be when she was in the palace yeah. she could have said she was in nigeria then we she could have invited us to the palace yes, to yes, give us some yes. advice give us some coaching yes. some nigeria coaching <laughs> yeah how we behave in nigeria how we respect our in-laws and stuff like that <laughs> now that she thinks that she is in nigeria the only advice i would give to her is she needs to go to nigeria and learn some manners well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she needs to go to nigeria and learn some nigerian manners <laughs> Yeah, if she was in the palace, yeah. I mean, yeah. yes, then, yeah. then, and then she proclaimed that she's Nigerian, Nigeria. then maybe she would have gone to the, you know, uh, what's it called now, our royals back home to sit with the wives and let them give us some coaching on yeah. how yeah. to actually conduct yourself as a royal yeah. wife. I'm glad, I'm glad. Uh, Meghan Merkel, uh, princess. Welcome to welcome to the Nigeria community. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being with us.